Good morning. Well, I have an overwhelming urge to paint this. It's from, so I thought I'd let you in on it and see what happens. Uh, it's from Christmas. So yay, this is all Australian. This is a bottle brush. See that? It's fabulous. These leaves are amazing. And the gum nuts. I don't know if they're Australian. Anyway, uh, so what I've done is I've prepared the canvas with how perfect is that? Gum tree green. And it's just a background colour, so it's coloured gesso, and it's perfect for backgrounds. Now you have to make sure you cover all the background, all the white, and then look, I just transpose that onto there. It's a genius masterpiece. So I am going to go and see the Cressida Campbell exhibition um, next week, and so she'll be inspiring too, but I thought I'd just get in before that and before I'm blown away by her amazingness and uh yeah let's just play and see what happens so i i did this a long time ago probably a couple of years ago can you see that yeah i really like how i did that and i have no idea how so i can see there's lots of different mediums so i don't want to do that on this this one uh not just acrylic paint and i want to keep it loose and i've look got pods so i've got pods i've got whatever they are gum nuts and I've got bottle brush so if I fill the page like that there's a good chance it might look all right but I'm going to keep it loose mixed media and see how I go I really god I love that how do I do that so I've decided to do two different canvases they're both the same size they're 80 by 80 and um, if I paint them both at the same time then I will get an entirely different feel, but they'll also hang nicely together if I want to hang them together. So I've got a Venetian, it's called Capital Siena. Again, a background gesso. Uh, I try to make sure that it's really well covered, no white coming through, because it just looks unfinished when you do it. But that colour is really outstanding, and that looks fabulous when you add the different whites. So I'm going to put... Uh, I'll probably use a white pastel to put over to draw into this one and I might use a charcoal for this and so yeah I'm going to get two different feels but they're done in the same palette another reason to do it is not to waste paint and then you can have it um, keep playing between the two and loop, keep it loose looking at around my studio I'm really liking this one that one I don't want to bugger that up so I'm just leaving it there not in a very good position because it'll get wrecked. This one I've just started, really quite liking that. I'm wanting to keep it loose. This one's a work in progress over there in the corner and again, another work in progress. So if you keep it, have a lot on the go, then that means that you don't tighten up and just wait until you're ready to do it. So I'm ready to do the gum nuts, just waiting for the paint to dry. Okay, so I'm gonna go bold and big, not just try and put a little tiny bars here and. Little thing here, and here. That's not how I. Well, everyone. There's so many people who do it better than I do. So I'm just going to do mine big, uh, and also I want to do a, my original work. So as soon as I start thinking, oh, this is looking like someone else's work, get rid of it, change it, regroup, think about your work, how I'm going to make it my own. What am I known for? What do people like about my work? How am I going to make it original? So. Here we go, I'll just go and fast forward so you're not bored by all the bits and bobs, but see how it goes. So I've just mapped that in. And as you can see, some of the paint's still wet, so it's a bit hard to do. So anyway, you can get the idea. So I just keep it loose and bold and going out the edges. Uh, you've got to notice that your eye has to go round, so there has to be some quiet periods. You don't want to look as though everybody's just thrown up in the same spot. No, not the same mark. Vary your mark all the time. Vary your materials. So what I'm going to do now is just sort of map it. I've just mapped this in. I am waiting for the red one to dry, but meanwhile, I'm just going to use limited palette. I'm just going to get some uh six and things and the more you put in then you can get it out you can block it in you can change it so i'm just gonna play really
Okay, I'm going to stop burning because I don't want to bugger it up. What happens is when you're thinking of it as only a background, you are loose. And what happens, I've got a limited palette. I'm not going to tell you what it is yet because I might change my mind. Um, but by putting it down and just blocking it in and looking, making it really quite relaxed, you are relaxed, in which case it looks better than when you tighten up. So I'm going to stop now and I'm just going to put it aside and I'm going to paint the other one, which will look entirely different. But I'm quite liking this background. But how am I going to make it all come together? You have to have three of these. I don't know if they are bottle brush. <laughs> I had to ask my daughter-in-law who's a florist. Are they a bottle brush or what the hell are they? Anyway, so, because um, the bottle brush is a red. Anyway, I might be wrong. So I've just put in the details and I can come in and make, see these here, that are quite thick. I could make them quite thin by putting in some like a suction. I quite like this drawing aspect here so that's not all the same finish. This just one is a worry, but maybe I can have something else down somewhere else. I'm just going to sit with it and wait and see what I'm going to do with the other one and see how they'll work together.